I'm coming back. It actually, my battery. I should be back in a second. Whew. Hello. Hello. Oh, now we got to go through another flipping ad. Um, sorry about that, guys. My um, plug on my camera apparently wasn't engaged all the way from when I was setting it up this morning. And I guess I ran out of battery and it just shut me the hell down. <laughs> but, um, can you guys hear me now? I know you got an ad going on because I'm watching that too. It says I'm broadcasting and there we are. Sweet Moses, people. <laughs> the hell's going on here? Um, okay. So, I got an idea of what I want to do. I think I'm going to do something simple like this in the background. And this is just, um, these are just uh, pentagons, you know, flipped up and down and made it a little ribbon across the back. So it's kind of simple. Oh, it links. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. They should be open because my only choice is do not allow links. So I think it's... See if that's going to work, Jean. Or I guess I could try one. Hello. Oh. There you go. Okay. Of course, I could have added the M on the end of mine, but... Okay. Let's do... Let's do something crazy. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do something real crazy. Real crazy, I tell you. Let me, um, hang on. Let me rearrange myself here for a second. I'm going to do one of my favorite combos and like a gradient kind of a thing. Let's see if I can get this to work. I'm going to go kind of diagonal with a little bit of PBO blue-green. I'm going to take some fine copper, iridescent copper fine goldens. And plop some of that up here in the corner. Oh, that just shot almost right in my face. <laughs> and a little bit of fallow turquoise goldens. Real darker one down here in this corner. And then I'm going to try to roll them on the plate and kind of keep them separate from each other. So let me get this darker turquoise going. Right. And I'm going to add in a PBO row here. Try to pull that down, keeping that separate on the plate. Right. Like that. And now I'm going to go with the copper. Try to keep that in its own little spot. It can blend, of course, on the edges. That just looks pretty right there. So... This one is called Pentagons, number 35. So you can see when I lay this down where I'm going with this, right? You get a gradient kind of effect. And I'm going to go with a light touch. Yeah, Erica, that's why a lot of times I'll just use the Goldens on there. and It doesn't take much to go on it. You know, you can't hate that. How hard you try, I don't care. So it picked up almost all that turquoise because that's really sheer translucent turquoise. It's not as thick, but I'm going to clean up the rest of this. And whatever I get, I get. So really, really pushing on this to try to get all this because that copper seems to dry fast. Um... Let me get this one down here, see what we got. Yeah, see, that's all I got. However, that will make one flipping awesome um, envelope and note card or background of a journal page or a scrapbook page. You know, you start and you put, you know, lay a photograph over top here around. So many things. It looks like it 
you know, it didn't work. But I love how it just picked up that outline where the paint was welled up in the, in the edges of the stencil, where I just have those outline pentagons there. I mean, that's pretty cool. So now I got all that goodness underneath there on the positive of the stencil. Look at that. Oh, I love that. I'm going to get every molecule of you up there, my friend. Take this, clean this off. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a, a double-decker sandwich, which makes me want a Big Mac. Damn Weight Watchers. And uh, because I think this is going to come out, I think I might get enough off of here to get a little ghosty shade of this pattern for another envelope and card. So we'll see. Maybe it dried too much. I don't know. Yeah, the dark turquoise was turquoise fallow from Golden. And it's very translucent. That's good enough. That'll work. I can use that. And what do we have here? Oh, look at you. And the positive of the stencil. Where's that? Hang on, where's my light? Lord. There we go. Why can't I remember that angle? <laughs> Luna. So look at this. Tell me you don't love that, people. I'm just saying. Um, and you know what I might do? Now, Jean, what did you tell me to do with black on black here? Put black over this, even though it's a dark color? Hey, Rain. That's right, Rain Aqua. Aqua water, water, rain, rain. Do this on black with black paint. Okay. I'll do it. I can follow instructions. Black and black coming up, Jean. You might have a new invention here that's going to make me go crazy. All right. Let me get some of this off of here. All right. Here we go. Yep, it was real thin. All right. I'm going to trust you. I bet I will. I usually love everything you suggest. Okay, I can hardly stand the suspense. Oh, wow. You lucky. Hello, you little yummy lover, you. Very cool, Jean. Look at that. I do. You're right. I love it. So, uh, let's see what I was going to do for my second layer. I'm going to use this. Because I think that really contrasts with the other, with the pentagons. And what color are we going to use? You know what? I think something really... Uh, I think I'm going to go with browns on there for some reason. It's calling me. So, let's try this. A little brown. I'm going to put a little beigey color down here. Oops, hello, broke the lid. A little beigey color. I don't know what this is going to look like, but I just, I don't know, it's, it's, I'm feeling it. And I think I'll put in a little, I'll use copper, I'm going to put in a little gold. Let's see what happens. I don't know, I mean, if you know, try it, what are you going to know? I mean, it's a piece of paper, for God's sake, people, just try it. You don't like it? Trash it. All right, let's see what happens. This one is called Outback something other. Outback Bullseye. Oops. Oh, I'm way off. Hang on. There we go. Okay, let's take... 
You know what? I think I'm going to use this one. That's, I really like how that one came out. Bye, Erica. Thanks for dropping in, hon. Don't forget your discount code. I mean, this is, I, I really am appreciative to Sherry at Eye Stencils for the, the deal she came up with for you guys because 20% off everything, a free $10 stencil that's exclusive and a free shipping for totals over 50 domestic, that's a pretty good deal. Yeah, I don't throw them away either, Trina. I, I do something. Even if it's wrong. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if that was the right choice. It's kind of subtle and, and uh, I like it though. That might have been cool and black and just let it go at that. But that's not me. Not letting it go yet. I might put something just black over that. So let me hang on to that thought. Let me see. Is there anything else? Let me see if I can just pull something up on this one. Yeah, it is. It really is a great deal. I'm really pushing on this one because I think that may have dropped. Oops, hello. Yeah, I just got a little ghosty kind of image on that one. And that's okay, but I'm going to pick. Actually, the more I look at that, the more I kind of like it. I might just leave that one like that. I think I'm going to. All right, but I love that that model design of those colors of brown together. I do, I do. Ooh, look at that. That's cool. And there's that one. Picking up some of that shimmer of the golden copper. See that? Where's that sweet spot? There it is. Sheesh. So, a little something different with the brown, you know. Um, I think I'm going to... Hang on, hang on, hang on. That might cover too much. This might be an interesting one to do. A little pop over top of that. Oh, maybe the antennas. That's kind of cute. Oh, here's this one. That's kind of cute. <laughs> All right. Oh, or that one, too. Oh, mercy. All right, you know what? Let me just go with what I got here. I'm going to put a little pop of black. Oh, yeah, a little Frank Lloyd, huh? I'm going to do this one for just a skinny little papa. Skinny, skinny little papa. And this one is called Amazed. Number 26. Okay. Oops. I'm having a problem with my fingers today. <laughs> All right. And this one is the one you're going to have to push kind of extra hard with your knuckle to get that try to encourage that paper to go between that skinny little design and kiss that dry paint so it sticks to it. Oh man, they got some eye stencils. Those 3D ones, Jean. Woohoo! They are my faves. They are awesome. Actually, I'm going to use one. I'll try to use it next. Where is it? It looks kind of 3D that I did that I didn't have any idea that was going to come out that way. But it kind of does when you look at it. And you don't even have to use 3D glasses. <laughs> Let's see if I got them. Oh, there you go. There you go. That's, that's all that needed. Just that little skinny little 
maze of black on top of there really makes that pop. A papa makes a pop. Love it. All right, I'm just going to clean this one off. I'm going to try to get through as many as mine is. What time is it? 12.30. So we're halfway through. I've got another hour and a half to go. So I want to try to get through all the designs. And I want to try to show you some other ways to use stencils too, not just on the jelly plate. Although, since I did make them so the size fits just right, I thought that was a good place to start. Oh, look at that. Got some shimmer on that one too. That's what happens when you start layering these PBOs, um, you know, for different ones over and over again. Um, you get that, there's shimmer on there. You don't see it, but it's on there. And uh, it's really cool when you start pulling it up. So let's see, what did I say I wanted to do? Oh, this one. This one looks 3D. And I just called this one Illusions because it, it does look 3D. And this is number 21. Um, let's see. Oh, let's see. I really like that green thing going on there. Let's go back and do some more of that. I don't think Jean's going to fight me too much on that one. A little dark. A little PBO. And let's, what do I have in there? Olive, let's use this bright yellow green Liquitex. Put a little of that in there. Make this one a little brighter. How about that? Thanks, Tam. Yeah, I like that. Just that little, little streak on there really, you know, adds a punch. Punch and a papa. Okay, so here we go. This is Illusions number 21. All right. They do have, they really do, Jane, have great customer service. There you go. And let me see if I can, I don't know how you guys would have to look at this to catch that 3D-ish kind of thing that happens with this one. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, trust me, it's it's there, sort of. Pick this little mist of this color up. That's just going to be a little bit of a ghost print there. But the underneath of this one ought to be pretty good. Yeah, the rainbow. <laughs> yeah, see, that's just a little bit, but that's a cool background. Clean this up. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, my screen went black there for a minute. I thought, not again. I knew the daggone thing's plugged in. Have to get Dave up there in treadmill hooked up to a generator. <laughs> Get me through the rest of the stream. Jean, are you on Facebook? All right, clean off my stencil. Oh, look at that. That's cool. And can you guys see that little bit of the black, the maze that lifted up with that? That's cool. Okay. So on top of this, what do I want to do? Um, that's too similar. Ooh, that's different. No, maybe not. Okay, hang on. Maybe we'll Pac-Man it. <laughs> oh, maybe big Pac-Man. 
Oh, hang on. I know. Oh, I love that one. We have to do this one next. Kind of love them all. That's a fun one. Oh, this is a fun one, too. <laughs> Crap. So many stencils, so little time. Oh, my gosh. I'm going mad, I tell you, mad. Let's do that one, just for gigs. So this, ouch. Oh, why are they calling it a funny bone? Sweet Jesus, I just stabbed a corner of a drawer into my knee. This one is uh, Pac-Man Infinity, number 20. Um... Um, Jean, I'm going to type my email address. For you, and I want you to email me when we get it when we get off of here or whenever, whenever you have a chance. Um So what am I doing? Uh, 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 uh. Let's go orange. Oops, excuse me. Little orange. And Let's go with a little bit of this, and a little bit of, a bit of this, and a little bit of that. Oh, I'll get the purple turquoise. Don't you worry. That's my favorite. Look at this. That's just bright and cheerful. And here we go. Pac-Man Infinity number 20. Let's see what you got there, girl. Perfect fit. I'm going to go back over this one. Gina, I wanted you to um, email me the name of that program you talked about, Inky something. I don't remember what you said it was. Because um, I'll never remember it on the chat. <laughs> oh, oh. See what we got. Oh, look at you. How cute are you? Look at that. I really like that. That little ruffles, the little lines going like that. Inkscape, Inkscape, Inkscape. Christ, I'll forget it in two seconds. Like it, like it, like it. Quit yammering and pick up the rest of the paint, girl. Lord. Hey. Just a little bit of a shadow on that, but I kind of really like that shadow of just those little bits. And this is going to be cool, I think. Oh, look at you. Look at you. Come to Mama. So, anybody, did somebody new just jump in there? Doreen, hi. Yes, I'm showing, demoing my, new, demoing my new line of stencils on iStencils. There's the link Jean just put up for my page, pages. Um, I have 34 designs out there. Um, here's your coupon code, PTP20. This is in effect until uh, the end of the day, Wednesday, March 12th. So it's five days. Um, and if this doesn't just apply to my stencils, it's any of her 3,000 designs out there. However, if you buy even one of mine, you'll get this for free, which is an 8x10 uh, exclusive design with my marks that I make on my art. And if you're in the U.S. and you have an order that totals $50 or more after you apply your discount, then you get free domestic shipping on top of that, if you can even believe it. So... Um, 
Ooh, look at you. See, that's what I mean about somebody asked me which are my favorites. I really like the infinities. They just, oh, I just like them. Oh, and look what it left on my plate. And look what it did to this. <laughs> look at that shimmer on that orange. Where's that damn light? There you go. Hello, baby. Oh, mama loves you. And look at this nice, nice mess here. Let's see. All right, hang on, people. Let me see what I got here. Oh, this is a fun one. This is fun. Let's do this. Over that, maybe? Is that too busy? If anybody's out there looking for stencils and they see one they want to see demoed live, throw me a number and I'll try to hook you up. Okay, I think this is what we're going to do. All right, I'm going to go down with this one. I really like this. I call this one Tribal Squares. Um, I like it, I like it, I like it. So, somebody said purple and turquoise. Hmm, imagine that. Let me grab some more paint. Hold on here. Oh, I know what I want to do. Oh, that's what I'll do. <laughs> uh, you will like this combination. So this is um, this is a really cool combination of colors here. This is PBO Studio Acrylics. It's not one of the shimmer colors. It's not an iridescent. It's called Oriental Violet. That's what this is right here. I'm going to put this down. I'm going to try to cover half my plate with that. And then I'm going to cover half my plate with the PBO Dyna Iridescent Green Yellow. Okay? I'm trying to read the screen. I didn't have a stroke. I'm trying to read the screen. <laughs> okay. Now watch what happens when these two lovely colors mingle in the middle. Let me get some more paint up on that edge there. Get that off of there. And I want them to show kind of clean on each end, but I want them to merge in the middle. Does anybody know what they're going to do? It's going to turn into a beautiful bronze. Turn it this way to switch the colors around on my brayer so I get a little bit more mix there. There we go. I got a little bit too more blendy than I wanted to. Oh, damn. Stop. Uh, 27. Okay. Right now I'm going to use Tribal Squares number 10. Oops. Drop that again, crooked. Uh, 27. What's the name of 27, Brenda? I don't know all these numbers. Oh, yay, Lou Jean's back. Lou Jean, by the way, Mojo is doing really well. You know, last Sunday, his incision opened up about this far. I could have shoved part of my hand in it. It's. I thought, holy crap, what's going on? So we jury rigged him. Oh my gosh, look at that. See that bronzy, rosy bronze color in the middle? Are those two moiged? A little moijation going on there? Love it. And I like that pattern a lot. Um, and then we took him right in Monday morning in a snow and ice storm. Back to the vet. Luckily, one vet made it in. He took him right in. Had to put him under again. But he put, he used some kind of a anesthesia that has an agent in it that when you're finished, they can give you another shot. And that agent attaches to the other one and pulls the effects out um, of the anesthesia quicker. Although he was a little stupefied the rest of the day. But they went in, pulled all the old stitches out, uh, cleaned it up. 
stitched it on the inside and stapled it on the outside. He's probably got, I bet he's got close to 20 staples in there. They're a lot finer staples than what we use in, in our human surgeries, I believe. At least the ones I've had. And see, I just picked up that little bit to clean up the plate and get that design cleaned up there. And look at you. <laughs> I gotta tell you, oh, dangles. I did use dangles, Brenda, but I'll I'll show you again if you need to see it. But let me, I'll show you the print, what it looks like. I'll show you the print. Hang on one second. Clean off the stencil. Ooh, look at that. That's kind of yummy looking. Hello, hon. Here's Mojo. There's my booby. And there's the positive print of that. There's my baby boy. You guys want to see Mo? Let me take my camera down a minute. Oh, God, will I ever get it up there again? Hang on. Take your drama mean. Mojo, come here, puppy. Come here, bubby. Where's my baby boy? Mojo, come. He's playing with Babe and Dave. Go over there. Mojo, come. Come here, bubby. There's my baby boy. There's my boy. There he is. Yep, he's a star. Hang on. Let me see. If, oh, Lordy. Hang on to your seats. Let's see where we are. Let me look at the real live camera here and see where I am. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to go a little bit this way. Oops, hold on. Put on your seat belts. Okay, I think I think that'll work. Okay, where was I? Um, little family family time there. Dave's getting ready to go. Uh, what size plate is this? Oh, hey Lorraine, let me bring you up to speed then. This is an 8x10 plate. I specifically made my stencils. I jelly plate so much and I love it. Um, it's an 8x10 plate and my stencils are made to fit the 8x10 jelly plate precisely and the 6x6. Six six. I'm just demoing the 8x10 today because I don't have a 6x6 six six plate, but I got to get one. Um, oh, cool, Katie. I'm so glad. I hope you took advantage of the, the discount. So um, anybody just getting on, and Lorraine, here's the discount code. PTP for Patty Tolly Parish, 20% off your whole um, purchase on the site. Not just my line, but any line that they carry. And they have close to 3,000 designs. So that 20% is good through March 12th, five days that you can get that. Um, in addition, if you buy even one of my stencils of either size, you get this exclusive design um, free. And this is kind of hard to see now because I've, I've gooped it up. But it's my marks that I make on my most of my artwork that I do. And you'll get this free, which is a $10 value. And if you're in the U.S., you'll get free um, domestic shipping if your order after discount is fifty dollars or more, um, six by six would fit part of it because it's an eight-inch round plate, so it's not going to fill the whole plate. You'd be better off getting the larger one and let it hang over. But I do have some round designs I'm working on, so they may be out at some point too. Um, for the ones who use the the round jelly plate, which I do have, um. So let me see, where were we? Let's get back here. I, oh, I oh, I got some papas needed here. I'm orange and green and I'm a purple. So let me look through here and see what I want to go on this next one with. You know, I might, no, that might be too much black. Hang on. Oh, somebody wanted to see dangles. Sorry, that's what I was doing. I got too much stuff going on here. My little brain's not handling it. Here's the dangles that I, I did one earlier with. This is the, uh, I think somebody asked me for number 27. Um, and that's what that looks like when you use it. Oh yeah, Lou Jean, I have about 200 designs that I've done. Um, and we're just going a little bit at a time. It'll be a few months, I think, uh, before any more go up. Well, there's a lot of steps to get them there. So that's the dangles that somebody asked me about. Um, let me get some papa on here. Let's see what I want to do. That's a good one for papa. 
Oh, I love this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Get back to. Oh, I like this one too. <laughs> kind of like them all. Wouldn't you think? This is a good papa too, actually. Oh, that's a good papa. <laughs> what the hell am I doing? You know what? I'm going to. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I know, I went a little overboard. 200. Might be a few more than that because I have some hand drawn ones, drawn ones that aren't in that number. Um, look at all this goodness I'm getting on the plate though for a cleanup. <laughs> Gotta love that. So I'm going to go with some black. Oops. And oops, hello. I need a new sheet over here. This is sticking and messing me up now. Oh, I can turn it over. All right. I'm going to use this one. It's called Antenna. Number two. And this just puts a little fine papa in there. And I think with something as busy as this, That'll just bring that all out. So let's see if I'm right. I've known to be wrong more times than not. How do you get the blue? How do I get the blue? I must have missed something. I'm not sure what you mean on that one, Rain. Eleven abstract. Actually, I think I had that one in my hand that I was just getting ready to do. Was that this one? Yep, that's the one I had in my hand that I was going to do. I'll do that. Yep, I'll do that one next. Oh, the blue Q. Yeah, it just turns in. You type a Q colon, and it turns into the blue Q. So it kind of pops out in the chat, and I can see it a little bit better from my end. There you go. See just that little fine black grid on there. To me that really does something to that print. There you go. There's your blue cue. Um, and now I'm going to take the paint that's on here and I'm going to roll it again without adding more. And I didn't have a lot on there in the first place so I don't know if that's going to work or not. We'll see. Um, and I'm going to do it on this one. No, I'm not. I'm going to do it on that one. I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm really pushing it hard now. Oh, that came out pretty good, actually. Got a nice little print on that one. And then, what else needs a little papa on here? This one does. The Tribal Squares does. What do I want to pop that with? I'm going to clean this off. Lorraine, when you say never get the good clean off, you mean when I just uh, pull up the last layer? Or when I lift it off with another color? Yeah, the Mylar is really thick, Jean. Uh, Susan, too. Yeah, really thick Mylar. They're very sturdy. They'll be here long after I'm gone. And see the suction that was on that one? She's the fine. It's pretty thick. Um, and cleaning up. Oh, look at that that came off that plate, Jean. Well, everybody, but Jean's likes that black pickup. But look at how much shimmer. That picked up just from those previous prints that you couldn't even really see on the plate. Oh, and I just noticed right there, it looks like the blank space looks like a, like an argyle design or something between all the grids. That really picked up a lot of that shimmer. That's cool. I like it. So, um, you know what I'll do? I thought that was, I'll do it on this one. This is, somebody wanted to see this. This is abstract number 11. I love this one too. Um, 
I'm going to do black and I'm going to go over the positive tribal squares because that covered a lot of there's a lot of paint on there so even though there, there's some wide open designs on this one I think the papa will still kind of work um, so here goes abstract 11 down on my plate oops hello sticking to me um, and I'm going to put this one over it Love that it looks kind of whimsical I don't know it looks like some video game eating something I don't know why it, what it does but there you go love it let me grab some of this on here while I got a little bit of paint left Let's see what happens Just a little bit of a shadow. A little bit of a shadow. I, I'm not wild about that look myself. Um, I'd like to, if it was more bold, I think it would have been better, just like the previous one. But I think I'll live. So let's clean this off. That'll look pretty cool. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That'll be a clean pick, a uh, nice pickup. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do a, a Big Mac again and get two clean prints because if nothing else, this will make cool envelopes. I hope they start selling on Etsy. I, that's the first set I sold. I have friends that I make them for that like my note cards, the jelly note cards and envelopes that match. Um, I have one more set left on Etsy. I have to make some more, but um, oh, this one's more vibrant. That's cool, just the black and white. I love black and white. Just that starkness of that. It'll be good to tear up into collage bits, too. Been into collaging lately. Gotta tell you, and I've been using some... Oh! That reminds me. Hello, knucklehead. Let's use some deli, shall we? For collage papers. I got this jelly... I got this on um, Amazon, I think. And they're 12 by 12 dry wax deli sheets that don't have a crease in them. How cool is that? Um... So let me see, what do I want to do on here? Oh, let's use Pac-Man. I haven't used Pac-Man yet. I like Pac-Man. Now I should be, um, well, it doesn't matter. I was going to say that the, the paper's 12 by 12, my plate's 8 by 10, so I'm going to have a lot of white space, but I'm okay with that. I'm not going to cry or anything because it's not covering the whole page. I could get out my bigger plate, but my stencils then aren't that big. So we'll see. So I want to do, I love, oh, you know what? It was this color. This is uh, Liquitex Bright Aqua Green and Liquitex Medium Magenta. Um, they make a cool purple. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Just thought of something else. And I don't like to work this around too much so it becomes just a new third color. I like to let some of the bits of each of the color show through, plus some of the third color it makes. So This is Pac-Man. It just reminded me of the, the Pac-Man game. It's number 19. Have you used an Infinity? I have. Um, I'll show you that. But I'll use another one. There we go. Deli paper is so nice doing this because you can see exactly where you need to touch it to get the paint to suck up onto the deli. That's the beauty of the deli, and because you can see it and have to touch it so easy, you get several prints. Pac-Man stacks, okay? 
Hello, little Pac-Man. Let me set you aside and grab another. See where you see that purple in there where they've overlapped? Yeah, so this one's going to be very faint, but I'm going to pick it up anyway to clean up that hole. So when I go to and clean up the stencil underneath, what's on the plate, I'll get a, a sharper image. You dig? Yeah. Sound like a beatnik. <laughs> the last time you heard that. <laughs> Thanks, Allie. I love you too, honey. That's kind of cool where it picked up like just the edge of it where the paint pulls up in that on the uh, edge of the stencil. Love. Do you use the same glass for each size plate? I use it for uh, my 8x10. I have an 8.5x11 because I cannibalized a 12x14. And I use that on here. And if I, my round one I use on this glass. It's, um, it's not big enough for my 12x14. There's the positive. I can actually pick up another positive um, because there's this deli print pulls such a a thin print but I'm gonna do this for time's sake and just do a double whammy which isn't gonna look right on the deli but <laughs> Maynard grabs <laughs> my mom's name babe that's why we named our pup babe because she our pup babe was born on my mom babe's 80th birthday it's very exciting i gotta tell you but here uh i want you guys that are just coming on i think gene's telling you but um 20 discount for you guys um using ptp20 and that's for the whole website of iStencils, not just my stencils so if you want to grab some of those really funky, cool 3D designs that they have or anything else, you can still get your 20% off. If you buy even one of my stencils, you'll get this one, which is my an exclusive design, not for sale. It's just free to my viewers, 8x10, um, with my marks that I make on my art. And if you're in the U.S. and you have a $50 or more total after the discount, you get free shipping on top of that. So that's like an unheard of deal for any stencil company that I've ever heard of. Uh, but Sherry is really generous. Um, great customer service. It, it really great product. Um, so you can't go wrong with that. And I just realized my damn brayer's falling apart. Hold on. I'm going to hammer this puppy back in there. This is my older one. I must have my new one packed up for my classes this week still. That's where it is. Ah, I knew it was somewhere. Um, so, dang, I forgot what stencil somebody wanted to see. Oh, an infinity. Infinity. Let's try another infinity. Oh, I love this one. This one is called um, Circle Infinity. It's number 12. Um, let's see. What do we want to do here? Let's do something green on my deli. Oops, that's a lot of paint right there. Right there, that's a lot of paint. Yeah, it's really fun live. Um, you know, you get to see the chat. You guys can hear me. I can't hear you, unfortunately, or see you, but I can see your chat. And hopefully, it's moving kind of fast today, and I'm trying to really watch, pay attention to what I'm doing. God forbid, that's a new concept. Um, but you can ask questions, and people put up links, and joke, and all that kind of good stuff. So it's really, it's really fun on the ch when you're watching it live. When I put it up the video on YouTube, and you don't know what a Ustream is, and you hear me talking and answering all these random questions, some people don't like that, but... My chatters, my you streamers do, so, you know, what are you going to do? Um, so this one is number 12, Circle Infinity. 
and I made these um, to fit right on the plate. That's taken up the full 8x10 jelly plate. Goes right to the edges of everything, if you can see that. So there's a lot of stencils out there, and a lot of them I use and love on my plate, but they're either too big or too small. These are neither. They are perfect. And they're not just for the jelly plate. You use them for anything you'd use a stencil for. Let's see what we got. Hmm, that didn't print as well on this deli as I would hope it would. Let me try to do this. That's not going to pick up much now, but let me grab a regular piece of paper or cardstock. Patty sent two emails, a second one, and linked the application. You also have Thank you. Took my Evelyn Wood speed reading class. <laughs> All right, let's see what rest of this is that I can pick up. And if not, if I don't get a good print out of this, it's because I yap too long, and I'll just do another infinity for you guys. Oops. Oh, look at all those colors that came up with that. That's kind of cool. You know what? That would make a cool pop of black on something, too, with this design. That's what I'm thinking. Grid dot two. Okay, I'll get that one. Yeah, it is cool. And what it is, it's basically the grid dot, and I took two of them. Like, here's a grid dot, and here's a grid dot, and I took... Let's see, how can I do that? I flipped them, so there's two of them together like that. You know what I mean? Babe, why are you crying, honey? What's the matter, little girl? Her daddy and Mojo, I think, went outside. Now she's sitting over there whining. <laughs> Dave's getting ready to go to a first golf meeting for the year. I'm about to become a golf widow. Wow, that picked up a lot of stuff on the plate. That's like a big old mess right there. But a lovely mess it is. So, um, grid dot two. Hang on. Hang on, baby. Let me find you. I just saw you. I just had you in the hand. There we go. Of course, it's almost in the bottom. This is grid dot two. See what, what that is? It's like there's one, right? I flipped the other one over. Instead of one dot, I just added three to fill it in the, the hole. This is number four, grid dot two. Found eBay seller in the U.S. that will send. It can't find anywhere in Canada. What can't you find, Jean? I'm going to try to watch the chat for a second and see what Jean can't find in Canada. Oops. Hang on. Let me see what I'm looking at here. What am I doing? What am I doing? You know what? I'm going to use this one on, and then put the grid dot two on top of it. National Deli and Grocers Cash and Carry. Huh. Um, this is Pac-Man Large, number 13. And this has a really wide open space, as you can see on there. But I'm going to do something. What am I going to do? Um, I am. I'm going to do something. Hang on. What color do I want to use? I don't know. Let's do something a little bit dark. And let's zhuzh it up a little with a little PBO. Mojo's doing really great. He was just on camera a few minutes ago. Gene can't find deli paper. Oh, that's not right. That's not good. That's going to have to be remedied, Gene. Okay, let me mix these two up. What's the matter, baby girl? What are you tying? That's a pretty color. I never met a turquoise I didn't like. NG is not online but in major cities. Sam's Costco is in Canada. That's where I get. Yeah, I get mine too. Don't have deli paper. Wow. 
Huh. Okay, here goes number 13, Pac-Man Lodge, coming up. What's the matter, baby? You sound... Oh, shoot. You know what? Let me... Oh, crap. Paying attention to her and not paying attention to what I'm doing. What's she doing crying over there? Oh, that's Dave's golf buddies coming in. If you hear the rumbling in the background, that's the dogs and the golfers <laughs> coming through. Hey, guys. Jeff Kirker. What you got going? Here's my buddy. I'm actually live broadcasting oh, you on you on Ustream, but that's fine. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm working on your. I got an idea for your small canvases. Oh, okay. I'm Good. trying to find something really cool that I saw as a canvas in around December. Okay. Having trouble finding it. Right. But I got you in mind. Oh, One of Dave's uh, golf buddies is here. Is Jeff? Where'd I've done a few canvases oh. for him for his house before. Oh, look, little girl. My babe's afraid of everybody. She loves Uncle Jeff. She's over here all wiggy-wiggy all over Jeff, so. Oh, you know what? See, I'm running my yap, and I forgot to do what I was going to do on that. I'm going to do this one over. <laughs> A very short attention span. Yeah, no memory, that's why. Yeah, no memory, that's right. I knew my memory shot. Oh, there's the girls are saying hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. The girls are saying hi, Dave. <laughs> They're upstairs regrouping for their their golf meeting, and I think I don't know if Danny's here yet. Jeff and Danny usually come over and drive with Dave for their golf meetings. Oh, that might be Danny now. Babe's barking. Ah. Yep, yeah, that's Danny going in the other door. She's barking at him. <laughs> For some reason, she likes Jeff. <laughs> so what I wanted to do, since this is so open, I'm going to put a little texture in um, in these holes. Right? So you don't just have to use them like they are. Stamp this on my, my nice shirt. Look. Oh, God. And then I'm going to take this little thin line little goober here, and let's just... Make some, I don't know, that's not so good, but, you know, I'll give it, show you what to do. Don't do what I do, do what I say do. <laughs> it's like my mother. Now let's try this again. Cabana boys. <laughs> oh, God. Every Saturday we usually have a house full of men they'll, in the morning they'll meet here before they go in their golf league and usually drive together Paul and Dave's navigator eh. see I wasn't paying attention again and I didn't get this to print right so that's not a good showing for Pac-Man large um, but he has his place um, you can see where the lines printed right here so if you could put those two together eh, maybe but uh, that example was not my favorite I gotta tell you Are you guys talking about the Liquitex um, iridescent medium? I have some. If you want, if you want to see it used, let me know. I'll throw. I'll, we'll throw down. Ooh, Lord, tearing the place up. Actually, there is another example of a ghost print looking better than the first print. Right. So, let me clean this up. See, this has its purpose for when you want it. When you do like one of those cleanup holes, I'm going to use that. Okay, babe, have fun. Uh, I left the dog. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right, see you guys. Have fun. Sorry if I'm screaming in your ears, ladies. Mm. Yes, on the medium. Okay. Um, somebody else said something else. Crap. Oh, Pac-Man stacks. There it is right there on top. What do you know? 
All right. Um, iridescent medium. Here's what I have, the basics. Uh, Liquitex basics. You mix this with any um, craft paint, goldens, Liquitex, whatever that's flat. Right? No shimmer. And it gives you a little bit of shimmer. So let's shimmer up. Um, oh, you want the number one infinity. Yeah, okay. We'll pull that one out too. Maybe we'll do that as a papa over tapa. Oh, a papa over tapa. Oh, I'm a freaking poet. Here's Pac-Man Stacks, number 18. So let's do... Um, Let's go back for jeans greens. Here's some craft paint, all right? A little bit of craft paint. This is a, what the hell is that? Hauser medium green. Well, it's an ugly name, but a nice color. A little bit of that and some iridescent medium. And when I put this on, I kind of like spread it out a little bit. Because um, it won't mix all the way through unless you roll and roll and roll and roll and come up with one third shimmery color. I like the depth of all the layers of colors in and out of there, right? So I'm kind of like, I'm just trying to get it here and there, hither and yon. All right, Pac-Man Stacks, number 18, going in. There we go. Way they have a meeting about golfing. Yeah, Dave's in a golf league. And uh, they have a meeting at the beginning of the season to you know, get all their ducks in a row and find out where they're playing. And then they play every other Saturday through October. And then he has, he plays at work. He, he, um, there's a group that play at work for DOD and he does some of that. He plays in a couple of tournaments that are local. And then he does four golf trips a year. The next, the first one's next week. They'll be down at, um, Pinehurst, New Jersey. No, New Jersey. What the hell am I saying? North Carolina. And um, there's a little Pac-Man Infinity. It squidged a little bit because I felt it move. So I wasn't really, I'm like, I think I must be getting tired or something and distracted with all them here and everything going on in the background. Because um, that didn't come out as crisp as I usually like it. Let me try to pick up another one while I got paint. What does he do at DOD? My brother works there. He um, is a branch chief in a production uh, facility, and I can't tell you anymore. I'd have to shoot you. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's pick this up. Just a ghost off of that. Still some background stuff going on there, and I do think this is going to be kind of kind of cool under here. Oh, you know what? I know why this did this. Why this looked a little thick. I don't know if you can see that in some spots. It's the, where the I, the medium globbed up because the medium is a lot thicker than uh, those runnier craft paints are. It's a lot heavier body. So that's why. See where it's in places there where it didn't, you know, spread out the whole way because I didn't want it to? That's why it was thicker there. Oh, that's a good idea, Allie, to cover up, you know, use it first, and then, cool. Yeah, the iridescent medium is fun. It gives, uh, gives a little sparkle. I get mine at Hobby Lobby here, and it's a pretty big tube, and you don't really need to use that much, honestly. So, that's a clean up, and a clean up there. You can see where it kind of, there are blobs of it are in here. See where those big... Where the hell are they? Where's, where's my light? There you go. There you go. See the blob up here and up here? That's what that was. It's all coming to me now. I'm going to use a piece of deli just to clean this up. 
there's some hunks of wet stuff over here. See? Oh, I knew it. Uh, <laughs> I'm just reading your note about you don't have a hubby on the road for six days a week so I don't kill him. Oh, God. I tell you what, Dave is a saint. God love him. Um, okay, this the Infinity. This is the one. It's got my marks on it, but it's just called Infinity, and it's number one. Um, I think that's going to make a cool papa. That's with, with my second husband. I thought I'd kill him. Good thing he traveled. I wouldn't have made it as long as I did. You know what? I might put that over something like, oh no, this one right here. We'll put that over this. This is actually still a bit wet because that is that was thicker than usual. Oh, and we can put it over this too, probably. Okay, got a couple papas coming here. Let me get some black down. Okay, we are at 122, so I have about 40 minutes left before they kick me off for recording. So let me do this one more time in case anybody news on there. I don't want anybody to miss this opportunity. Use the code on iStencils.com PTP20. You will get 20% off your entire cart. Not just my stencils, but any of the almost 3,000 designs that they have on iStencils.com. Um, and this is not just good for today or for an hour. It's good for five days until the end of Wednesday, March 12th, which is blows me away. It's unheard of. If you buy even one of my stencils, you'll get this stencil, 8x10, $9.99 value of an exclusive design that's not for sale. This is my marks I make on all my art. You'll get the stencil free. And if you're in the U.S. and your order after discount is $50 or more, you get free shipping on top of that. So it's almost to the point where they're going to pay you to buy some stencils. <laughs> it's so generous. I, I'm so, so thankful to Sherry and I stencils for... for um, doing that for my viewers it's it's uh well it's not just for you guys it's for anybody who happens to see any of my posts or anything but particularly for you um you know pretty cool okay here we go number one infinity going down let's go on top of this one Yeah, Dave's got all his stuff. That's good advice. I hope Art, Art Medillo, I don't know your name. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not your given name. Screen names screw me up. Ha! A rental. There well, you're talking. Need a little art income. Who wants my husband? Not me. I'm just saying that. I don't mean that. I'm keeping this one. My jiggities, it took me long enough to get it right. He tickled me this morning. I was like busting at the seams to get down here and start doing this. And I was having my coffee and I jumped in the shower and said, you got to get something to eat before you get down there. You're going to be down there too long. I said, yeah, I know. And I was getting ready and he just came in. He was standing there kind of grinning at me, shaking his head. And he said, you are just so happy, aren't you? <laughs> I said, yeah, I'm like slap happy. I can't hardly stand myself. <laughs> That's the kind of cool you got to really, I sh next time I'm going to push a little bit more uh, firmly on this inner row because the line is so fine. But that kind of gives it one of those infinity table looks, you know, where the, the mirrors and the lights go underneath the table. I like it. So that's not going to be enough paint in there. Oh, look at that. How cute are you? I'm going to put just a little itsy bitsy more paint right there. And then I'm going to re... Rare. Is that a word? Rebrayer? I don't know. I make stuff up. Got my own little lingo going here. Okay. Back down you go. Come here, you green little lovely you with the iridescence. See that? Here we go. Stop yapping. Press it into the paint while it's wet. <laughs> I have no sound. Uh-oh. Is any can any, everybody else hear me?
There you go. Okay, let's see what we got on this one. Oh, look at you. Infinity on infinity. It's like a time machine. That's so cool, though, isn't it? I haven't combined these two yet. Can you tell? <laughs> Were any of you on my stream that we did last week? Got to tell you, that one kind of got a little out of hand. Hi. I got to go to Staples. Hang on, entertain yourselves. I got to run up to Staples. I'm running low on cardstock. How can that be? I have different kinds, but um, I got enough for the stream, so don't fret. Yeah, Jennifer, um, within the window of the video, down at the bottom, hover your mouse over there and you'll see a little slide bar for volume. If you just came on, it comes on in mute and you just drag that up and then that should do it. Of course, I'm telling you that. You can't hear me. <laughs> what an idiot. Oh my God. That is hilarious. I'm Jennifer, I'm giving you all kind of directions and thinking, you boob, she can't hear you. <laughs> oh God. That is cute. I got to say so myself. That's cute. Oh, hello. Almost looks like a flower or a doily kind of a thing. Uh, I get the 110 pound card stock. <laughs> there you go, little black and white little number there. Um, let's see. What I, oh, somebody asked me for grid dot, and I haven't done that yet. I'm going to do that right now. And I think over top of that, I'm going to do my Outback one trying to get to all of these and that seems easy but maybe I run my yap too much I don't know so um let oh you know what I haven't used yet this red blue uh PBO this is fabulous oh look at all that good lord this is a really pretty red shade with blue uh shimmer in it how do you mind if I share some other use stream? Absolutely not. That's why I enable the links, Gene. I don't mind if you guys share anything. I mean, if you want to put a link, link up to somebody else that has stencils, you know, yay for all of us. That, that doesn't bother me, hon. But thank you for asking. Crap. Oh, here we go. That looked a little naughty. note to sell order more red blue this color I mean this like you could look it off of there and just eat it it is so pretty and I think that's all I'm going to put down is this one color why those shimmering powders don't forget what they're called what does uh oh I don't know what you mean what does what I'm not following the stream as much as I usually do because I want to show you as many of these as possible I must have crap on, oh, I do. I got booger, brayer boogers, damn it. There, no wonder I got all those marks in my, my brayering. Sheesh. All right, let's see. This baby's seen some, seen some jelly printing though. Here's my Ustream channel, there you go. Yep, Jean's is able to stream a lot more than I am and they are, very fun girl, so you must check out Jean's streams. Here we go. Grid dot number four. Grid dot two. Remember the one grid dot was just this one little bit of the design? This is grid dot two where it's doubled and it's stencil number four. So <laughs> I just came up with that Brayer Booger thing. I didn't know what else to call them. Oh, Lord, I need help. Oh, yes. P-E-B-E-O. P-B-O. Studio. See that in the top in the black? 
cleaning your stencils or I just leave them. I don't clean a dang one. But I what I do is, I'll show you on this one. Pay attention to what I do when I get done with this. I just blot it so anything wet comes off. Hello, red, blue, grid dot. That's kind of cool. Look at that paint. See that purpley glow there? That's where the red, blue mix thing is happening. It's like Trump Loy. Fool the eye. There you go. See that hot pink flash going across there? That's the blue shimmer. But no, so I'm going to with Deli try to pick up a little something here because it's really fine and not a lot there. But I might get a little something on the Deli. See that coming through on the Deli where it looks like it's getting darker? It's a little bit of damp paint that's still on there. Very little. And that'll clean up those holes. See, that's all that came off of there. And that's fine. That's a fine. But here's how I clean my stencils, if you want to call it that. Right? I sandwich a piece of paper on the, so I get the positive image of the stencil, all the paint that was hidden under the stencil from when I pulled my print. And then I take the paint that's on the back of this one that's wet, and I put it down on this side. And this is as much as I clean my stencils. Whatever comes off, right, whatever comes off on that paper, that's as clean as that's going to get. This is pretty much dry at this point. It's a little sticky to it. But I'll lay it over in a pile upside down, and within seconds that'll be dry enough that the next one's not going to stick to it. And then that's what cleaned off of there, and that's what cleaned off my plate. All right? So I'm going to do, here's a positive and negative image, right, of the same one. Ooh, look at all this on my plate. And it's going to make a cool cleanup. I think I'll do a full page of that one. But I want to do, I love this one, and this is the one Erica's not here anymore. But I used the six inch one, and I only use this one design, and I popped that pattern on that big six foot floor cloth that I did, that taupe and teal one. Um, <laughs> and she said, that's what her eye went to, and she said, oh, there's a really cool design. What is that design? I thought, damn it, how did she see that out of the whole thing? I can't talk about them yet. Little rascal. Those youngins are observant observant rather all right little papa and okay this one is uh number seven and it's i called it outback because it's kind of an aboriginal a play on an aboriginal design that I saw that I liked. Oops. Oh, put it down a little crooked. Eh, crap. There we go. These are cut really exact, and I'm... My fingers aren't that exact today. Bet my sons will trying to clean them and quit. The bad thing is I haven't laid one down. It's stuck to the paper. You know what? Just soak it in some hot soapy water and see if you can take... You know your finger and just go like this and try to peel that wet paper off of it um, Lorraine okay I'm gonna pop a grid dot two with Outback I don't know what grabs me about this one it's kind of a linear um, and the circles combined I don't know if that's I don't know why I just like it. Watch my time, 135. We've got 25 minutes left. So if anybody wants to see anything, holla. Okay, now I'm not wild about those two patterns together, honestly. I love this pattern. I love the other one. That didn't work like I thought it was going to work. But let's try it on something that it will work on. Shall we? Let me find something here. Actually, you know what? One of these that didn't come out so great. Let's do it on this one. I'm going to add a little bit more paint, though. I'm going to have to squidge that around and add just a little bit more black. Uh, somebody asked how I clean my brayer. I use um, hand sanitizer. Get those big jars at Costco for five bucks. It's not, is it Purell? It's, uh, I don't know what brand it is. Yeah, it is Purell, economy size. 
and this cleans your plate, cleans your brayer really well. You can spray water on it too, or just warm so soapy water. Um, but what I'll do is I'll put, I'll squirt um, hand sanitizer on my brayer, and then I'll just roll it on my plate, and I'm getting like a twofer out of it. It's cleaning both at once. I might have to do it a couple times to get it all off. And then I'll take a baby wipe and try to get the last bit of it off. Um, Jennifer, don't worry about that. I'm going to, once we finish here, I'm going to upload this to YouTube. So you can go watch the whole thing on YouTube if you missed anything and you really want to see it. Um, um, I was going to say something, I lost my damn train of thought. They all have two cups. Oh, yeah. The PBOs you're talking about, Jean. Yeah. They are yumalicious. They have... Um, hang on a second. When I get this one pulled up, I'll, I have most of them out, I think. I don't use the blue-black a lot. I have it, but I don't use it a lot. You're welcome, Trina. That's better. That's more complimentary. And I like how this curve line of the green one intersects with that. That, see what I mean? You got to watch how you compare them. And I wasn't thinking about it, but this is the grid dot is very linear. This is very linear, and it just it doesn't do it any favors. They're both cool separately, but when you combine them, eh, take it or leave it. But that is much more appealing to my eye, anyway. That's the only damn eye I got to worry about. <laughs> Lorraine Dickblick has it, and fineartstore.com carry it. And I don't know where you live, but some of the girls are saying uh, there's a place in Canada they can tell you about that has it. I think there's about, I don't know, eight or nine iridescent colors. They have blue-green and green-blue, which look very similar in the tubes, but they're very different when you put them out. This is blue-green. This is green-blue. Yellow-green orange yellow, violet blue, red blue, what else? And I think that's it, and then big blue black. I, you know what, I'll use blue black just to show you. Um, but yeah, that's the PBO iridescence. And um, the first color on the name, like the violet blue, the paint is the first color. The shimmer is the second color. Oops. There we go. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, look at the purple. Okay, now here's where you can really see on this. See that purpley looking shimmer? And that grid dot pattern? Oh, can you see it? Ah, there it is. That's the blue shimmer in the red paint that's showing up and making that look like it's a purple grid underneath it there. There you go, now you can see it some. They get you, give you fun little surprises. Yeah, the blue-black, you know, let's, let's pop up some blue-black, shall we? Let's have a little pop-a party here and see what we come up with. Let me see what stencils I have left that I think you should really see in action. Some of them are kind of self-explanatory. Some of them are not. Oh, let's see some of these. These are kind of crazy. Crazy. Crazy mazy. This is like another maze. I like this one. Well, I like them all. I think we've been through that already, right? So I'm going to do, um, let's see. Uh, that can flip the leftover, especially with the PBO paints. Yeah, that really does show up the shimmer against the black jean. It's kind of like one of those um, interference colors, you know, where they look almost clear or white in the jar, but the shimmer is a color. When you put them down, especially on black, they, bam, they just pop you right in the head. <laughs> All right, let's try, let's go crazy, shall we? Because this is a fun little pattern coming up here that I'm going to use. So let's get crazy with my color. Oh, 
I love purple and teal. Mm. Throw a little magenta in there. Wish I had another cup of coffee and my, my able-bodied assistant's going to a damn golf meeting. <laughs> well, we only got, what, 15, 18 minutes or something. I think I can make it. I usually only have one in the morning, but for some reason that sounds good. All right. This one is another maze. And this one's called Dot Maze, and it's number 28. So when you get these and line them up, remember they're going to go right to the edge. Um, throw up a cue, if you guys, if you're talking to me, because I'm trying to get as much done in here as we can on my last few minutes. Not that I'm going anywhere forever, but, you know, for today, for my stream. cute are you? You little dot maze you. See the little teeny dots there in between there? There you go. I haven't used Tic Tac. I'll use that next. Actually, I'll pop that on here. How about that? <laughs> well, Inky, I mean, don't hurt yourself with your shopping, but, you know, at the same time, Take advantage of the discount and the freebie and the free shipping while you can. And remember, it's on for five days, so. Will you have time to show us stencils beyond jelly plate? Um, you know what? We've done enough of them on the jelly plate. I will certainly do that. And I'll be making videos, upcoming videos, that'll show more and more about my stuff and how I'm using it. Look at that. Looks like a mess, but look at that Outback design in there. And the, see the lines of that and the circles that came out. Yummy. I'm going to pick this up. And just that little bit is what I'm going to get now. This one I'm not going to rub like this because there's too many loose little pointy ends. I'm just going to put my flat of my hand down and kind of push and give it a little zhuzh. Oh, look. Oh, hello, darling. And then you got the little white dots where the holes were. Hello. So, tic-tac-toe. Tic-tac-toe. Here we go. Tic-tac-toe is number nine. So I'm going to pop of that one. You know what? I'll just... I don't know that this is really going to show that well, but I'm going to use the blue-black just for demonstration purposes if people want to see this color. Um, you know, some people will really like it. It's not... I like a brighter palette, so... Um, it's like a denim -y. It's got a little periwinkle-ish edge to it. I mean, it's not blue. It's more... To me, more periwinkle. And not as dark as I was expecting it to be, so this might not have been a good idea. <laughs> but we're going to roll with it, because I said that's what we're going to do. So this is Tic-Tac-Toe, number nine. And again, I'm feeling with these fingers where the edge of my jelly plate is underneath as I lay that down. All right, let's try it on here. Let's see what we get. Thanks, Jean, so much for throwing that information out for everybody all the time. I really appreciate it. I learned some really cool stencil techniques this week at those classes I was telling you guys about at Queen's Inc. with uh, Stencil Girl Frenzy. It was Pam Carriker, Mary Beth Shaw, Joanne Sharp, and Sue Pellet Pelletier. Pelletier. I always said her name wrong, and she said it right for me, and now I'm self-conscious of how I'm saying it. She is a riot, by the way. Oh, my God. We laugh so hard at her. She's funny. They were all really fun. Now, see, that's not as obvious as the black, and it's more... Let me see if I can hit that light for you to see that. It's like a denim. It ends up like a denim shimmer. 
Um, hello, where are you? There, I don't know if you can see any of that or not. There you go. That's a little bit better view. So it's not as stark as I would have liked it. I think with black that would have been better. But it's a piece of paper, people, and that's how we learn. All right? That's how we learn. So I'm going to get rid of this. Get rid of it. I'm going to clean it off. Get it out of the way and do a couple other things. I got 13 minutes. The freaking clock's ticking. I mean, it's not like I'm going to blow up in, th when, in three hours, but that's when my recording stops. Um, so that's just a clean up print pulling that off of there. So I'm going to set this aside. And I'm going to... I'm gonna gonna do something. Let's get a couple things out here. These are stencils. Oh, where are you, stenciling thing? There we go. Let's grab this. Uh, let's grab this. Holy moly! Hang on. Oh, crap. A new paper cutter. I gotta find a spot for that thing. I'll lop off a foot or something with it. Okay, I'm gonna grab. I need some other color paper here. Grab a little black for one thing I want to do. To show you this product too, it's really, really cool. Um, Yeah, I know I can start record again, but I think I'm going to have to stop it at three hours. I need to, um, there's a couple things that I need to do today. Um, but you never know, I might be jumping on later tonight, who knows. Uh, crap, I forgot what I was going to, oh, I know. Don't tell me, I know, I got it. So, let's grab a stencil. Let's grab, I think one of the infinities would look cool with this. Where are you, little infinity? Here we go. Let's use a Pac-Man stack. Let's use this one. And um, I'm going to make a jelly from cards. You need to seal the top with fixative to, at end. I don't know. When they're paint, I don't. They're on there. And it's just for cards. It's not like it's going to get a lot of wear and tear. But I don't I don't seal the I don't seal the prints. Um, here's this. Any of these Viva or any of these 3D gel products. Are really cool. I use them through stencils all the time on like my canvases and stuff that I do mixed media stuff. So this one is one of my favorites. It's Crystal Gel by Viva Decor and it's called Hologram. Right. Um, take a little palette knife, take a little gel, and I'm gonna just do part of this instead of wasting it because I'm just doing it on a piece of cardstock, but I'm doing it on black because I want you to see what this stuff looks like against black. You can use it on any color. It's pretty much clear, but these hologram, holographic papers that are in here, or plastic little bits, I don't know what it is, they look really cool on the bits of dark color. I'm just saying, I gotta wipe this off quick because it dries like concrete on your knife. So, let's lift this up. Hello, lover. Wipe that off my stencil. Oh, crap, I can't reach my baby wipes. I've done jelly plated myself in. To use my shirt. <laughs> um, see, I smeared it under the stencil trying to hurry up. But you can get an idea of how that pattern will come through with 3D stuff. And look at that when that hits that light. There you go. Kaboom. Where are you? There you go. And see those that holographic little bits in there? That's pretty cool. You can also um, get on there. Um, grab another pattern here. Let me grab one I haven't used. Actually, all of those aren't really good for this technique. So I'm going to show. Oh, I can use this one. This one's called Sawtooth. Um, number seventeen, and. Uh, just to show you a different pattern with a different thing. This is a Shimmers paint called a Dazzler. 
it's kind of oh hello it's a 3d gel and again you know with the knife through the through a stencil but just to give you a different pattern to see what it looks like Ooh, that's kind of snotty nice consistency all right and just slick it down try to wipe off the excess so it kind of cleans the stencil and saves your product because you can scrape that back in there all right there you go I need my baby wipes. Hang on. I'm going to have to... Holy moly. I have got some stuff going on here, people. This I do want to clean off a little bit because it's um, it's 3D. It's a little snotty and it will get in your the holes of the stencil and uh, eventually interfere with the design and just, you know, booger them all up where they're going to stick to each other real bad and I don't want to have to do deal with that so much all right so there you got a little 3d pattern through a stencil with a knife um, I showed you earlier I'll just do it on this with white how you can just um, you know if you have a have one of these sponges you've already used with one color you can just cut the end off right oops until you get a clean color good enough good enough for demonstration purposes and grab a little light colored paint. I'm just going to use this Titan Buff that I have out here for the sake of time. Grab me a little stencil. This is a cool one. We didn't use this. And this isn't a great one to show in this technique because it's so big. But I really like this one. It's number five, Bullseye. This, um, I don't want to get it stuck in there either. So you just, you know, dab your makeup sponge in some paint. And blot it off so it's like semi-dry and up and down just a quick pounce holding your stencil in place All right viola there you go and you guys probably all know that right but one thing that i saw this weekend and let me see if i can show you real quick what can i use to put it on um where's my watercolor pad Palette paper. All these damn yellow pads are. Here we go. Watercolor paper. Let me use this real quick. Um. Oh, I was starting to tell you guys about Pam Character's new paint line coming out at Jerry's in a couple of months. Really cool colors and a really cool consistency. It's almost like high flow. We see the label of the last paint. This one. Golden's Fluid Acrylic Titan Buff. All right. Um, so, hang on. Let me find one that's going to be a good demo for this technique. I'll use this. This is another arrow pattern. This is um, called One Way, and it's number 15. Um, So how can I show you this? I don't have spray paint. I have spray inks. I don't know if that's going to work or not. But you know what? We'll go for it and try it. And if it doesn't work, you'll kind of get the idea. Whew. Maybe. Crap. Uh, Alright, let's try this. I don't think this is going to work right on this paper with this ink, to tell you the truth. But So we put down spray paint that's going to, it's Pan Characters, it's not out yet, that's going to be uh, it's a spray acrylic paint, really cool Australian colors by Matisse. Um, but it's going to be her line for Matisse. Um, we sprayed color down randomly. Again, don't shoot me if this doesn't work because it's ink and it's on watercolor paper. Oh, come on, spray a little rat. Hang on. Oh, yay, yay. Watch, nothing's going to work now because I'm trying to... Oh, for Pete's sake. Oh. All right. Whatever color that is. Ooh, mercy. Okay. And now, you put the stencil on top of this. All right. Took a baby wipe. Voila, I'll use this one. And then, 
just kind of wiped it over the stencil. And you know, I'm using ink. The paint was much nicer. It wasn't ears runny. It was more controllable. So try to visualize that, but just think about the technique um, and how that might work for you with the paint. But I'll show you a page in the journal that I did like that, actually. And that doesn't look anything like it should. <laughs> Crap, Ola. I'm going to put that down there just so it sucks the paint up. I'm just going to wipe this to get that stencil cleaned up. Edit out. Bad example, but hang on. Let me run around the other side of the table, pick up the journal that we made in our class. So each of those instructors that we went to, we had a half day class with uh, each of the four. So it was a two day class. And each one we worked on a signature that's going into a journal. Um, what a mess I made for that crap of a demo. Um, And then we, with Sue, we made the covers for the journal using my shirt. Oh, Dixie, that's good information. I'm going to watch Julie when I got to go. Two minutes left. Holy crap. So here's the journal cover that we made. Right, cute. And we got to put it together yet. But signatures, this was Joanne. Sharp signature. This is Pam Character. Pam Character. Character signature. Hang on. Can you see the background on there where you see layers of paint and stencils? All this stuff. That's how we did it. Um, but we did it with her paints and not ink. And it is watercolor paper. Um, but the difference was her... Um, there's another one in reds that you can see. See the fleur-de-lis over top of the circle stencil? They were really cool, a cool way to use stencils that I'd never even thought of. There you can see it a little bit better with the fleur-de-lis and then that circle pattern. Really cool. And that was another signature. And then we used, for Mary Beth's class, I don't really like the way these turned out, to tell you the truth. This was a journal page we did. You can't see much of the background, but it was a layering stencil technique and then washing it with glaze and stuff. Um... And then my back cover. So, anyway, back to business. PTP 20, 20% 20 discount on your entire cart. Exclusive free stencil, buy any one of mine and you get this $10 stencil free. Free shipping on domestic orders that total over 50 after your discount. They're made particularly with the jelly plate in mind. Eight by 10 and six by six designs are now available on iStencils.com. I'll be coming back with more. Remember, this code is good through the 12th. You don't have to buy them today. But if you shop today and you decide you want more, you're still good. So, um, thank you guys for joining me on this stream. I'm so tickled about this line coming out. I'm glad you guys are, are pumped about it, too. And I hope you have fun using them, because that's what they're meant for fun. It even says on my little write-up on my, on my little cover here that it's all about fun. Art, love, joy. Hey. Thanks, guys. I'm going to sign off, grab a little something to eat. I might even come back tonight later. I'm not sure what's going on tonight. So, um, anyway, I really appreciate it. Jean, thanks for all your help with the links. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate your support. And uh, you guys make it fun for me on here, too. So, um Throw any links up if you guys, while you still have an audience here for any upcoming streams or your blogs or whatever you'd like to share, throw them up there. Thanks, Jean. Oh, thank you, Brenda. Yay. Thanks, ladies. Always fun. Oh, look, you can see PBO on my cover. <laughs> I'm showing the competition stencils. But how freaking cute is that? Um, there you go.
I'll be doing future videos to show, um, you know, more ways to use the stencils and combinations of which ones I think go well together um, and, and stuff like that. Purple Door Studios at Blogspot. Great. Thank you. Um, so, stay tuned. I got probably a 180 more designs in the hopper, but they'll come out not months from now. I mean, months from now. They're not going to be out anytime soon. So, um, oh, my computer just went blank on me. Oh, there we go. And I'm back. All right, guys, I'm going to push this video up to YouTube because I promised I would do that at two o'clock for the people who couldn't make the stream or don't have the ability um, so they can get this information soon, too. So I'm going to I'm cutting out, going to kill the old camera and upload and I'll see you back here soon. Thank Thanks again so much, you guys. It's it's a very um, I, I just I really appreciate you guys. I can't I uh, can't tell you how much. Love ya. Bye. Get your stencils with your discount.